Welcome to Story-O, Story Outlining Software for Writers. In this lesson, we're going to go over how to get started with Story-O. If you need help installing or updating from an earlier version, see the next lesson, Lesson 2. When you first launch Story-O, you will be taken to the project screen. In the demo version of Story-O, there are five projects to sample, each using Storio in a slightly different way to show you the versatility of this powerful outlining software. Let's look at the first project, Time Travel. To launch the project, click on the title. You will be taken to the timeline for the project, which shows you sequences here on the timeline canvas. Each sequence is connected to a segment, shown down here. You can tell which sequence is connected to which segment by the color. So, for example, the first segment in the segment bar along the bottom of the screen is called Current Year. You can see each segment is represented by a color, in this case, green. All the sequence cards on the timeline with the same green color are attached to this segment. And you can see that there are five sequences attached to the current year segment. If you want to filter the timeline screen to see just the current year sequences, click on the segment and then select Filter. To return to the complete timeline view, showing all the sequences, click Show All. You can rearrange the sequences on the timeline by dragging and dropping a sequence card. So, if you wanted to switch Bill at School with Bill Meets Abe Lincoln, you would simply drag the Bill Meets Abe Lincoln sequence card to the first position in the timeline. If you click on Manage Index Cards, you will see all index cards attached to that sequence, in this case, Bill at School. Up here, you can see the hierarchy of where you are. Time Travel is the name of the project, Current Year is the name of the segment, Bill at School is the name of the sequence. And this sequence has three index cards attached to it. Just as you can reorder the sequence cards, you can also move the index cards. To edit an index card, click on the Edit button. Here, you can enter information for this index card in the Description tab. You can also attach characters to this card and a picture. OK, so now that you have a quick overview of how the timeline works, Let's create a new sequence and some index cards. I'm going to go back to the timeline window. And let's say I want to add a new segment to this story called World War II, as this is a time travel story. Remember, these are the segments down here. Click on the Add button. You can create a segment or a sequence. Once again, a segment is the top level. A sequence is attached to a segment. So if I wanted to create a new sequence for a segment already created, for example, another sequence card for the French Revolution, perhaps, you would click Sequence. But I want to create a new segment, so I'm going to click Segment. Enter the name of the segment. I'm going to enter World War II. You can enter a short description too. This is what appears on the sequence card in the timeline. You can also enter how you want to measure this segment in days or weeks, but this is not required. This is helpful if you are creating a very detailed outline and want to measure every single aspect of your story. Lastly, Select a color for the new segment. 
then click Create. You will then be asked if you want to create a sequence for this segment. Remember, sequences are the cards that appear on the timeline. I'm going to select Yes. Now, the sequence is going to be called Battle at Normandy. Notice that the World War II segment is already entered here. If you select the down arrow, you can see all the segments. Each sequence must be attached to a segment. You can enter more information here for this sequence if you want. And when you're finished, click Create. Now let's notice a couple things. First, a new segment has been created down here in the segment bar called World War II. And on the timeline, here is the related sequence called Battle at Normandy. Okay, another thing. The order of your story or outline is dictated by the order of the sequences on the timeline. So, if I were to move the Battle at Normandy sequence to the very beginning of the timeline, notice that it now has the number 1. This sequence begins the outline. Even though the segment for this sequence is the last in the segment bar. If you wanted to move the World War II segment to the beginning of the segment bar, select the Sort button and drag the segment up to the top, then click Save. Next, let's add an index card to this sequence. Select the Edit button on the Battle at Normandy sequence card, and then select Manage Index Cards. Notice that this time you will receive a message that there are no index cards created for this sequence. Click OK to create your first index card. Here you can enter a title for the card. Next, let's add the characters Bill and Alex to this card. Click on the Add Character button. Select the characters Bill and Alex. Let's also add a picture. There we go. Great. That wraps up this lesson. To learn more about Storyo, please check out the other lessons, and also check out the iOS version of Storyo, available on the App Store.